No, the Turtles aren't an expansion team. They were a rock band during the 60s and early 70s. And one of the band's key performers was bass guitarist Jim Pons, currently the video director of the New York Jets. No, it isn't show business, but it's a living. And for Pons and the Jets, it's been mutually beneficial. As the New York Jets video director, Jim Pond shares a similar duty with his 27 counterparts around the NFL. Each week, these unsung heroes shoot their team's games. They then break down the footage, make it available to opposing teams for scouting purposes, then file it away for their own strategical use. One thing that Jim Pons does not share with his fellow NFL video directors is a unique background rooted in rock and roll. In the late 60s, Jim Pons played bass guitar for the Turtles, one of the decade's most successful groups. In this colorful and creative band, Pons was the true portrait of a rock star, whether he was playing hits like Happy Together or performing in videos that predated MTV by at least a dozen years. We were sailing along in the late 60s, having kind of consecutive hits. I think we had maybe seven top 10 uh, records, but the hits ran out. When the fun of rock and roll faded for Jim Pons, he sought an alternative lifestyle, receiving some highly unusual advice. As a favor to a friend, I visited the psychic consultant. And she read my palm and my skull and tarot cards and all that mysticism. She told me that I was going to go east and I was going to be in the movies. In 1973, Pons left LA and ironically found a job with the New York Jets. It was not long before Jet coach Weeb Eubank decided that Pons would be the right man for his team's new full-time film department. I kind of led him to believe that since I was from Hollywood that I knew how to do all this and that I knew about film, which of course I didn't, but in that time it was real simple what needed to be done. I went over to my friend at ABC, John, and said, quick, show me how to cut film and, and, and use a splicer so I can do this thing and, and act like I know what I'm doing. Jim Pons ultimately mastered the job, and he's been on it now for 12 years. In that time, the job has changed. Videotape has replaced film. Games are shot according to strategy, not sequential order. Even practices are not spared the scrutiny of a video camera or two. Despite the many hours he puts in for the Jets, Jim Pons still finds time for music. On most Sundays, he can be found in the congregation band for the Vineyard Christian Fellowship in Baldwin, Long Island, playing the same bass guitar that once turned out hits for the Turtles. I love the position I'm in now. I love this job. It's a great organization. And uh, I enjoyed playing, and I loved the time that I did that. And I, I wouldn't trade it, I mean, I, even if I could. Actually, it was a great thing to do, to be a, to be a rock and roll entertainer in the 60s. It was, it was a good time to do that, and I feel, like, blessed that I was able to. Um, I also feel fortunate to have gotten out of it when I did, and, and with what sanity I have left. He's retained his sanity and his gold records. Jim Pons is proud of his past, but at the present, he is truly happy to be together with the New York Jets in his capacity as their video director. Don't go away. Steve and Harry will be right back. <laughs>